Pick a state six. Push that way. Take it up the field. Let's get a ball. Oh, it was high school football at its best, with all the trappings of homecoming serving as the backdrop. Ordinarily, you try to schedule a weak opponent for homecoming since a win assures a post-game celebration. That was not the case at Victor Friday night. Visiting Eastridge, equally unbeaten, was the toughest test on the Blue Devils' schedule. After a scoreless first quarter, Victor began to drive from its own 18. Workhorse running back Dale Matheis, a senior who stepped in as a starter when Tommy Wagner was injured two weeks ago, ran for 21 yards. The first of four Lancer penalties on the possession on the next play brought the ball to midfield. A third and 10 screen pass from Tommy's little brother, Mike Wagner, the freshman, to Matice, picked up another 31 yards. The 82-yard drive culminated in a touchdown from, who else, Matice, who was 6-0 victor with just under five minutes left to the half. Is it, was it important, you think, to, to get that first score in a game like this? Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to score first and get a jump on a team like them. What was the uh, what was the feeling on the team when you get you go down and get that first touchdown and you got that lead? We're pretty fired up, pretty fired up, and had momentum on our side, and then they just got that big play. The big play was actually a series of big plays for Eastridge, despite the overall defensive nature of the contest. On the next possession, Lancer quarterback Ethan Printy went long to fellow senior Shamik Johnson. The biggest pass play of the day was good for 47 yards. We had the coaches talk to my wide receiver, Shawnee Johnson. He had been all riled up before that. And we know he had to make a play, so I, I knew he was going to be there. I knew he'd be there to make a play. Eastridge punched it in with 55 seconds left on the clock. Jeremiah Ortiz with the touchdown. The Lancers took a 7-6 lead to intermission. 24 minutes to a league title. 24 minutes to a league title. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be in the second half? 24 minutes to a league title. 24 minutes. Let's get it done. Still clinging to that one point lead, Eastridge began a drive from its own 18 on the last play of the third quarter. Ortiz set the tone, picking up 17 yards to the Lancer 35. Changing ends, it was Printy with a fake. He kept it, picked up another 29 yards into Victor territory down to the 30. With the Blue Devils defense still back on its heels, next play, Ortiz broke left and into the clear. 30 yards, a spectacular run for a touchdown. Well, it was designed to go outside, but I kind of cut it back because I seen an opening in the cutback, so I cut it back, um, broke a couple tackles, kept my balance, and for the touchdown. Eastridge 14, Victor 6. The Blue Devils began to drive from their own 45 with 3.57 left. A pass from Wagner to Alex Barrow, and yet another personal foul call against the Lancers netted 33 yards to the Eastridge 22. With 1.22 left, the Blue Devils from the five yard line, third and goal, Wagner keeps the ball and is stopped at the Eastridge one yard line. Facing fourth and goal, Victor ran the clock down to 6.3 seconds and called timeout. You had uh, time to think about it in the timeout prior to that last play. What did you send them out there? What instructions did you send them out there with? Stop the run. Stop the run. That's that's what I knew that they were probably, well, didn't know, but I, I thought that they were going to come with that. Um, pound the ball inside. They got the bigger personnel. We just had to get, in, get into our gaps and, and make those stops. The ball was handed to Matthijs. The game belonged to Eastridge, Victor's first Monroe County League loss since joining three years ago. We're in the huddle. I, I said, what do you think? And, and uh, Mitch Ford, our left tackle, said, run, it, run the inside zone to my side. And we did, and again, it came up a little short. I don't know if I'd change a thing, except us getting over the goal line. This game wasn't necessarily the end of the story here. There is a chance, perhaps a very good chance, that these same two teams could meet again in the upcoming Section 5 playoffs. I did tell our kids there's a chance, you know, the way our, our sections, our, our class is kind of crazy here. So there is a chance, and, you know, I don't know if they want to see us. I'm not sure I want to see them, but we got to beat everybody. So so we have uh, we got to look forward to those goals now. Six, baby, one, two, three,